hi hello guys welcome back to my channel it's always nice to have you guys here in today's video we are learning about prompt engineering we want to learn how to craft good questions so that ai can give us good response if you have not heard about prompt engineering today like um before so today you will know what prompt engineering is and how it relates uh, to ai or uh, chat llm and generative ai so just like a recap of what we've been doing so far so we are now in uh, lesson five so if, if you have not watched all these videos for all these four lessons i will encourage you to go and watch all of them it will give you basic understanding of how uh, uh generative ai works what is a llm you know how llm works and how transformer uh, transformers work in uh, llms okay so but today we are learning about prompt engineering we want to know how to ask good question how to have good conversation with ai so we can get good responses from ai okay so why prompt engineering why do we need prompt engineering right so that's the first question so um the, the question i will ask you guys have you ever wondered why sometimes when you have conversation with chat or you ask chat question it sometimes give you irrelevant responses sometimes too much information right just put all the information out there sometimes the information might be inaccurate and uh, some of the time the information uh, the information might not be usable right you might not be able to use the information right so so why does that happen okay so the reason why it happens is because uh you don't know how to have good conversation with ai or how to ask chat questions right imagine that you're in a class and you want to you have a question you want to ask your teacher and you don't know how to craft the question right so if, so if you don't know how to ask someone a question maybe your parents your friend if you don't know how well to ask them question then you won't get the response that is the same thing with uh, chat right so today we want to learn how to ask chat question so what is prompt engineering just to have some definition okay also prompt engineering is the process of crafting effective question or instructions right so you want to ask chat uh, questions so prompt engineering is the process is the one that tells you the best way right to uh chat with so uh, to guide okay so asking question to guide AI like ChatGPT to provide the best and most accurate response, right? So your question, how good your question is will be how good ChatGPT will give you the response, right? So that is what's a prompt engineer. So again, the question you ask ChatGPT is called prompt, right? So that's where the term comes from, prompt engineering or we can call it prompt crafting or effective prompt anything right so think of prompt engineering as talking to ay ai in a way that makes uh, it understand your needs better right imagine that you are talking to ai you know uh, so the prompt engineering is you talking to ai in a way uh that makes it understand you better and able to answer your questions better okay so why is prompt engineering important i think we've answered this question but let's just go uh, over it again right so like we said again the quality of ai response depend heavily like it 100 percent depend on how you ask your question right if you have a good question you get good a response from uh chat if you don't have good question then you don't have good response it's just like that garbage in garbage out okay so good prompt leads to clear useful answers while vague or incomplete prompts can result in confusion and relevant information right it's as simple as that okay yeah so if, if you don't have good uh question right you won't have good answer just imagine you going to uh see a doctor right and you go to doctor and you say okay uh i'm sick treat me that's all you have to say you know the doctor is asking uh, asking you questions and all of that but you are not able to give response right so 
that means the doctor will not be able to treat you very well so that's the same way uh, prompt engineering is good for child GPT, okay and uh, uh, LLMs right so these are the steps that you need to take to get good response from child GPT, and we are going to uh, actually try that okay so these are the key things that you need to put in your questions right so the first thing is what are you trying to ask ask uh, child GPT, okay so you have to put that in your question of course so let's assume that what you want to ask uh, child GPT is please explain how electric car cars work right that's the first question now the next step is who is asking child GPT or who child like who is child GPT like who child GPT should uh, respond as right because uh if child GPT knows that oh yeah i'm talking to a kid the uh, child GPT will like kind of explain it in a very simple way if child GPT uh, knows that oh yeah i'm talking to like an electrical engineer or like a doctor or someone right so child GPT will be able to kind of explain the response in a way that the person will understand right so that is why this who is asking child GPT is important right so imagine for our question so you can say oh yeah i want you to respond as a highly skilled engineer also i am a so you are saying that i'm a high school student but respond as a skilled engineer right so you are giving ChatGPT more information about how it should answer your question so the next one is why do you ask the question what do you need the question for right so you want to know about electric cars why is it just for fun or something so you might say oh yeah i need it for science fair in my school so when you give ChatGPT that question then ChatGPT will give you the response that it will make it usable right for the science fair that you have in your school that is why okay then another one is which so which details are relevant if you have some details so for example you can say oh yeah i want you to focus on the technical part of how electric car works because you, uh, your science fair uh science fair uh, uh, in your school uh should be focused on technical part right so now you wanted to focus on technical part of how this uh, electric car works right then the last one is how should child GPT respond so you can say i want you to make your answer simple for me to understand and you can even say oh i want you to make it in powerpoint format right so maybe you want to create a powerpoint from it to share in your science fair you know you tell ChatGPT like oh please make it in powerpoint format or maybe you want ChatGPT to just give you uh, uh the answer in three paragraphs or something right you can say all of that in here okay so let's test it out so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to ask ChatGPT question without uh these details just ask this question then when i go like then we're going to ask stability uh the question again with all these detail, details then we'll see the difference uh between the results so let's go to activity okay so the first thing is we'll say please explain how electric cars work okay so you see all of this information and everything see a lot of information in here see it's giving us advantages it's giving too much information all right so just imagine that you want to use this for science fair in your uh school or, or anywhere or something right and they want you to focus on technical part so you have to come in here and not be like uh um getting some information from here you know and and if you want to put it, put it like in a powerpoint you have to create powerpoint from this so but now let's now ask the question again with more details okay so the first thing is what all right guys so um so i've typed all of these uh steps in here so like this is the what right so please explain how electric cars work then this is the who who is asking i'm a high school student 
but I want you to give me a response as a skill engineer, then this is the why. Why do you need it? I need it for a science fair competition in my school. Right, then the next one, which details are relevant? I want you to focus on the technical part of how electricals work. Then the last one is how ChatGPT should respond. Say, I want you to make your answer simple for me to understand and give your response in a PowerPoint format. Okay, so this is what we have got before. So now let's see what we get for this. So you see, he put it in PowerPoints. The first one, what electric cars, right? Uh, vehicles powered with uh, electricity uh, stored in batteries and all of that. Then the key part, so or slide two, key component of an electric car. You know, it breaks everything down for you in PowerPoint that it's easy for you to share uh, uh, in, in in your science fair, right? You see. And it, it made it simple uh, that people will be able to understand, right? So I did just an example of this, right? So, but make sure that when you want to ask a ChatGPT question for something important, make sure that you follow these steps, right? And uh, you, you get good response, right? So that, is, so that is what prompt engineering is all about. Hopefully you guys were able to get one or two things from this video. So. In the next video, we are going to be learning how to fine tune AI. Okay, how to make AI model work just for you. So, because in here we have uh, like AI model. So, like this one is uh, ChatGPT four, right? It is using um, LLM GPT four zero four zero, right? So now, if we want to customize this model to work better for us uh so how do we go about it right so that is what this video is gonna be about and i think you guys will like it so please don't forget to like my video subscribe and share with all your friends i'll see you guys in the next video thank you